hello in this video i will show you how to make uh, this uh, organic rose hydrosol from these uh, roses which are in my flower pot here you can see right now two flowers are there and two more are coming i have used three flower today and uh, one teaspoon of water to extract the rose hydrosol so basically this has uh, nutrient some uh, rose essential oil and uh, rose oil and rose nutrient petal nutrient so this is very good for skin nourishment and this is an organic so let's start to extract the rose uh, hydrosol from organic flower now we we'll use this uh, mason jar to hang all these three flower inside and this time i'm going to add uh, one teaspoon water also so first i will add one teaspoon water in this jar that's it and then uh, we'll hang these three flower by thread so you just take a needle and poke the other side so that you can now the same way we have to do another one and the third one now you can see all three we made a garland and now we have to squeeze all three in this mason jar so that they can hang it now you can see we hang all these flower in the same way and then we have to just insert inside do not touch the bottom just uh, we have to hang slow very gently and the thread will be outside okay now we will cover this with this one so here you can see we have to do very tight and i added it very small amount of water only 1 teaspoon water here and the all flowers are on in the hanging then now we will start heating so now i will i have really tight this cap and here you can see the thread is outside so that all the flower will hang in the mason jar and a small amount of 1 teaspoon water is there so I am taking this bowl and then we will add water, not too much, then put this, uh, I think it is touching the water, basically water should not touch the, I will remove some water, water should not touch the gauge and then put this uh, jar and then I will cover it by this glass bowl so that I can see and now I will start the heating the water so as the water will boil basically it will heat the 1 teaspoon water inside also and it will generate very good steam inside and uh, once the steam will generate it will take the all the fragrance and aroma from the rose petals and it will remain inside because it's very tight and i will heat this uh, around 30 to 30 minute or 45 minute and then we'll cool this mason jar so i will show you after some time now we can see this uh, water start boiling and then inside there is so much water vapors are there. 
so I will keep this uh, heating for 15 more minutes and then switch off this heating let it cool down by its own now it's uh, 30 minutes over and I will switch this heating off and then we will let it cool by itself and then show you after once it to be cooled down so now I will open this one it's cooled down so let's see how this look like so here you can see at the bottom there is a, some colored water is there basically it has some oil and uh, rose oil and the bottle is still hot so I will put them in the put this in the fridge so that all the water vapor which is on the wall which will be condensed at the bottom so we'll get maximized amount of the and I did not open the lid yet so once it will be really cool after the fridge then I will open it so I'm going to put this in the fridge okay so now you can see I take it out from the fridge and it's very cold right now so just wipe it out so that we can see what is inside and after wiping out you can see the thread is still outside and all the flowers are hanging so now I will open this it's really hard because we close very tightly I will open with the, some other mean. This is really tight. Now it's really tight. So ho hold this thread and then apply pressure. Oh, now it's open. So keep holding the thread so that don't lose your flower. It has very good smell very sweet maybe I can just do like this so here I remove the flower and now this jar has very good sweet smell so in this way if you will tap like this slowly all the hydrosol will come at the bottom and now I can take it into this small oil so this oil have a very good nutrient this is a hydrosol basically it has oil and some nutrient in the water so this is the rose nutrient hydrosol which would be useful for applying uh, as a face a skin nourishment okay thank you